Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Elise Reads and Speaks. Today I am bringing you the Channel History book tag. I was tagged by Casey over at Lost in a Bookcase. Thank you very much. And let's just kick it right off with the questions. So the first one is, Tell us about your very first video and where you were in life when you filmed it. So my very first video took place in January 2019 and that wasn't that long ago, okay? I've only been on here for a year and I didn't even really like publicize my channel until like maybe six months into it or something. So, and I wasn't really in a different place. I'm still doing the same thing that I am now. It's only a year. So again, I'm an SLP, I'm an actor, I'm a teacher, I'm a mom, I do lots of things. And I'm in the same place that I was when I filmed that first video. Yeah. Two, tell us about your most viewed video and what went into creating it. My most viewed video is my book outlet haul. I bought a bunch of books I tried to keep it under $50, which I did, and I opened the box. <laughs> Damn, you guys like it when I spend money. I'm sorry I can't do that all the time. But yeah, that's all that went into that video. <laughs> Three, tell us about a video that you were most excited about when you finished it. There were a couple of these. I'm gonna go with my top three because they stick out in my mind. My first one is my education video on enjoying Song for a Whale. I didn't tell you the whole plot of Song for a Whale, but I told you some speechy things since I'm a speech language pathologist about how to enjoy that book as much as I did. I will link that video down below because I'm super, super proud of it. And the author watched it, which I was like, yay. Oh, nerd alert. It makes me so excited. My second one is my bookish monologue. I have one episode up. I plan on making that into a series, writing some monologues about um, bookish type things and creating that just as a series on my channel because I like acting and I love books. So that one, that one made me excited to post and put my acting out there. My third one, I made very early on in my channel. That was my NSYNC book tag. You know, no one's done it, but I'm so proud because I'm an NSYNC fan and I had so much fun making that video. <laughs> it's so corny, but it's a good time. <laughs> Four, tell us about a point in your book tubing, author tubing career that was particularly challenging either creatively or personally. Um, there's nothing that really sticks out to me that's really challenging creatively or personally. I mean, I, I guess the only thing is making time. I just happen to do a lot. I'm involved with a lot. I have a lot on my plate, so it's just setting aside time for filming. But that doesn't really stick out as something that was just so deeply challenging to me. But I'm sorry, that's the only thing I got. Five, tell us about a moment in your book tubing, author tubing career that was a high point for you or something you're particularly proud of. So that comes back to my Song for a Whale video. I had several people message me, people that I'm actually like friends with in real life on Facebook message me to tell me that they went ahead and bought the book because they were just so excited to read it after watching my video. And there is just no better compliment than that. Six, tell us about an aspect of being a content creator that you had to try really hard to get good at or are still struggling with. I would say the major thing is aesthetics. Like I am sitting here with my ring light in front of my bookcase and I don't do anything like flashy or anything that's really pleasing to the eye other than you watching my beautiful face. Um, I guess I can learn more about that, but Again, I'm also like busy. I'm like, is that really at the top of my list of priorities or do I just want to film myself and have fun? I'm going with the filming myself and having fun because I feel like if I learned stuff about aesthetics, it would just add so much more time onto editing. And I just, ain't nobody got time for that. Seven, tell us a story that sticks out in your mind that happened as a result of you being a part of BookTube, AuthorTube. <laughs> okay. So I, I told you that I'm a part of a book club and months back I had filmed this one book tag. I think it was the, the A through Z book tag. And for those of you that didn't watch that video, I did note on there that and I forget what the question was, but that I, I once upon a time had this boyfriend that would use quotes from this book on me. However, at the time I didn't, I didn't know that they were quotes from a book until I read the freaking book. So it was perks of being a wallflower. And he liked to use the word infinite. Like you make me feel so infinite. <laughs> and, oh man, like high school at least of course is like, swoon, tell me more. But oh, <laughs> looking back, man, embarrassing. But because I shared that on, um, on booktube and one of my channel, we had a nice lengthy discussion about it one night at book club and that, <laughs> 
was highly embarrassing, but amusing nonetheless. <laughs> Eight. Tell us about someone else in the booktube, authortube community that you think deserves more attention than they get at the moment. This is a very easy one for me. I have been watching A.G. McDonald since I believe he started his channel, or maybe like a month or two after that. His channel is so good, and I just looked, and he only has a little over a thousand subscribers. Maybe that sounds like a lot, but I think for a channel that's as good as his, and as innovative and interesting, like, I just feel like he deserves so much more credit and praise than he gets. So, A.G. McDonald, I give you all the credit and praise you deserve. Poof! All right, that is it for the questions. So that's all that I've got for you today. Thank you for tuning in. I will catch you next time, guys. Bye!